We have nature's toolbox in front of us and it's just a matter of what should we make and how do we push the limits of these materials even more. My name is Will Dictel. I am a professor of chemistry and chemical biology at Cornell University. I am an organic chemist and organic chemists work on molecules as well as stringing molecules into bigger structures called polymers that make up the plastics that are involved in almost every human activity. I love chemistry because it provides a, a, really a creative outlet. We can dream up structures that have never been made before by anyone and we can go out and we can speculate on what they might be used for and we can go make them and test them. A COF it stands for Covalent Organic Framework and it is a polymer that has a well-defined structure and we really have a great degree of designability and control and so we can use that control to design materials that are appropriate for water purification, for storing electricity, for generating electricity from the sun, for detecting trace explosives, for homeland security applications. One of the things that my lab did was to start isolating COFs as thin films grown directly on surfaces. And so by growing a material right where you want it in an electrode, that's a great way to incorporate it into these devices, such as a, uh, as a battery or a solar cell. The best part of my day is to meet with my students, talk about the results of their experiments. Every now and then, we'll see something that is either unexpected or a hundred times better than we, we ever would have dreamed. And that moment where you realize that you really have something special, it, it, there's really no other feeling like it. That's something that's kept me motivated to keep pushing the envelope because if we do, there's a potential for really seeing the payout in, in terms of helping people's lives. When I first got the call from MacArthur, I was about to walk into a meeting and had to contain my excitement. <laughs> I have been walking on, uh, you know, about a foot off the ground uh, ever since I received that phone call. I, I'm incredibly grateful for the support and I'm really excited about what we will be able to do with it. But it's also incredible validation for, of our work and especially for my students who are pushing the boundaries of science all the time.